It's Tuesday, October 30th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Here's a great question today from my friend Jonas in Switzerland. He said, do you ever have some experiences with God when you listen to Christian metal worship? I love hard music, but I also know that God is love and he wants to share his great love with us. My problem, could it be that if we use hard music for worship, like Christian death metal or unblack metal, that his love for us is a bit shortened or limited because it's so aggressive? What do you think of this? This is a great question. And, you know, I guess to answer it, we kind of have to go back to the Bible and look at how music was used there. You know, David talks about worship, and, you know, David understood worship. He played worship. He soothed, remember, uh, the king's uh, uh, traumas with worship. Uh, David, most of the Psalms are worship to God. Um, And then there's celebration. You know, Psalm 150 says, you know, to praise the Lord with loud clanging cymbals, the harp and the lyre. He brings in all the instruments. He makes a lot of noise and, you know, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, he says. Well, that's celebration. And, you know, at that time, that was very aggressive. That was about the most aggressive you could get. Was it worship? Well, there are those times when David played softly and skillfully, the Bible says, and soothingly. So what are we up for? You know, we used to divide our time in sanctuary years ago between celebration and worship. We do the celebration first and sing songs and make noise and, you know, be energetic And then we kind of brought it down to worship, you know, where we could close our eyes and and spend some time in worship with the Lord. You know, both of them are important. I think that this is the great thing that we have in common. You know, it doesn't matter if you like Christian metal. It doesn't matter if you like Christian rock and roll or Christian uh, country western. Well, it kind of does matter if you like Christian country western. We'll pray for you. But anyway... (laughs) You know, it doesn't matter what style of music you like, honestly. You can use that music in celebration with the Lord. But there is one thing that we have in common, and I appreciate Jonas for bringing this up, because you know what? It's all said and done. Whatever music you celebrate with, we all have one thing in common when it comes to worship, quieting our hearts before the Lord and worshiping him together. And that's why, you know, I enjoy traveling and I enjoy going to churches all over the world. And I realize that wherever I go, they're singing usually the same songs, just a different language. And it's all worship and I can, I can, you know, worship with them and sing in my own language. And we all have this experience in common. It's wonderful. No matter what age you are, no matter what kind of music you like, it's the one thing I believe that Christians have in common together. Now, there are some great Christian metal worship albums. We, we did two of them, and there's, there are other people that have done some, and there's some that are coming out and one that we're working on. You know, it's a great thing to be able to, to celebrate and worship and do it in a lot of different styles. And some of you that are listening right now would say, well, Pastor Bob, I feel worship when I hear some very aggressive music, you know, with some really good, strong bass drums and guitar and, you know, all of the instruments that make your heart kind of do this, you know, because it's powerful. And that's great. You know, there's so many different experiences and I I love it that we have a lot of different experiences. I love it that all of us are involved with worship and celebration with our own kind of background and experience. <clears throat> the one problem that I see is that sometimes we use it to divide when it really ought to bring us together. And that's why I love going to a church where you see all kinds of different people from the metalheads to the, the people that enjoy classical music and everything in between. And they're all together in worship because we have that in common. That's a good thing, isn't it? But you know, there's a variety of experience. One isn't right and another one wrong. It depends upon what your heart 
feels comfortable doing. Great question, Jonas. I'll see you again in Switzerland in a few months. God bless you all. Have a great day.